Good morning. So I'm going to try to do a little bit of responsible reporting on the incident that happened yesterday uh, with Donald Trump. I am sure that you are well aware that there was an assassination attempt on Mr. Trump yesterday. And there were a lot of questions pretty quickly uh, after the event happened that were raised. Some of them you just can't ignore. And, you know, it's pretty ridiculous when you you get so many different individuals that, that just want to throw out their nonsense. I mean, you got scumbag Baron Dependent last night trying to uh, talk about wrestling and how people will fake, uh, fake uh, an injury by taking a razor blade and, and slashing themselves with it. And he's correct on that. However... That kind of nonsense has no business here. And, you know, it's pretty sad when you when you go live to quote-unquote talk about the uh, attempted assassination of a former and very likely future president and uh, and then turn it around to sham wow your, your product. That was pretty ridiculous. It was, uh, it was disgusting. I'm telling you, Baron Dependent T.J. Morris is an absolute scumbag. He's disgusting. And people would do well to walk away. Don't send him any more money so he can buy him more watches. And folks, he tells on himself, you just have to stop idolizing him and listen. So anyway, I've got a couple of articles for you. And... You know, we can't really get to the bottom of anything because we're not going to be allowed to. Uh, I'm sure that the individual that they claim is responsible uh, has had his accounts completely scrubbed and then some well before anybody could have gotten anything really from it that would have been of, of importance. <clears throat> so here's, uh, here's where we're at so far. The identified shooter is Thomas Matthew Crooks. Uh, it says the FBI identified 20-year-old Thomas Matthew, Matthew Crooks of Bethel Park, Pennsylvania as a suspect in Saturday's attempted assassination of former U.S. President Donald Trump at a campaign rally. The suspect was shot and killed by the secret police seconds after he allegedly fired shots toward a stage where Trump was speaking in Butler, Pennsylvania. The FBI said it was working to determine a motive for the attack in which one Raleigh attendee died and two other spectators were critically injured. Trump was shot in the ear. Now, when you have to sit there and play the motive game when it comes to the attempted assassination of a former and very likely future president, really, I mean, really... State voter records, and I want to clear this up, state voter records show that Crooks was a registered Republican. The upcoming November 5 election would have been the first time Crooks had been old enough to vote in a presidential race. Now, let me address that, because there have been, there have been images and stuff of, uh, of this person that has been circulating and I'm telling you, he's not a conservative looking kind of fella. He's, uh, if I, if I were to have to, to, <laughs> to guess, I would say he's slightly to heavily left-leaning, okay? Um, it's pretty bad when you can, you, you can tell certain things about people's attitudes, their personalities. This dude was left-leaning. So, why was he a registered Republican? Do you remember when there were calls out for uh, Democrats to register themselves as Republican so that they could cause problems, I guess, in the primaries and stuff, which didn't work. But nonetheless, I will I will just fall short of guaranteeing you that that is exactly why he was registered as a uh, as a Republican. However, a little more information exists, and this here is from Reuters. Of course, you'll have the links. 
Says Cooks lived about an hour away from where the shooting took place in Butler. The Federal Aviation Administration said on Sunday that it closed the airspace over Bethel Park for special security reasons. When Cooks was 17, now this is important, he made a $15 donation to Act Blue, a political action committee that raises money for left-leaning and Democratic politi- politicians, according to a 2021 Federal Election Commission filing. The donation was earmarked, earmarked for the Progressive Turnout Project, a national group that rallies Democrats to vote. The groups did not immediately respond to a Reuters request for comment. Cook's father, Matthew Cooks, 53, told CNN that he was trying to figure out what happened and would wait until he spoke to law enforcement before speaking about his son. Now, there is one thing that I will throw in here. We know, and we have known, that there are means and methods to... Uh, alter someone's mind and I'm not saying that that is what's happened here um, we'll never know for certain but um, you know there have been several incidents in the past where things have happened and um, awful interesting how the individual responsible couldn't even remember perpetrating the attack um, and then when you see him show up for you know for the court and stuff like that. They're so drugged up, they don't even know their name. So, you know, of course, this guy will never get that chance. And, uh, eh, I have to say rightfully so. It is what it is. Thomas Cooks graduated in 2022 from Bethel Park High School, according to the Pittsburgh Tribune Review. He received a $500 star award from the National Math and Science Initiative, according to the newspaper. 2022 graduation ceremony cited by the New York Times shows Cooks receiving his high school diploma to some applause. Video from that ceremony posted online shows Cooks with glasses and a black graduation gown and posing with a school official. Reuters could not immediately verify the authenticity of the video. Law enforcement officials said on Saturday the Cooks carried no identification to the site of the shooting and had to be identified using other methods. We're looking at photographs right now and we're trying to run his DNA and get biometric com- confirmation. Uh, Kevin Rohek, or Rojak, FBI special agent in charge, said during a press briefing. USA Today reported that dozens of law enforcement vehicles were stationed outside a residence listed at the address on Crook, uh, Crook's voter registration record. Agents from the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives were on the scene, and a bomb squad was at the residence, USA Today reported. I uh, don't know if it really goes on much. Uh, Reuters couldn't identi- immediately identify social media accounts. That's because they were scrubbed long before you'd get the chance. Um, but, of course, they haven't responded with whether or not they have, uh, removed them. Now, one other thing of interest, and you've probably seen this video going around. I'm not going to play it because, uh, YouTube will probably get all pissy. But, um, I wondered this when I saw this, too. It looked like they were watching the guy. I mean flat out watching the guy and waited like bided their time and waited before they responded I am sure you have seen the video of the red haired gentleman that um, was trying to to let police and secret service and, and others know that they were watching him climb up the building They were pointing them out. They were doing everything that they could to get the attention of authorities to deal with the situation. There is, from my understanding, an investigation being launched into that, and that is on war news as well. Um, Right here. Uh, Did the deep state organize the attempt against Trump? They called the director of Secret Service to testify testify about the security gaps. And it's it's interesting. I think there's uh, an image here. 
this is the gentleman that um, that I was referring to. I'm sure you saw that video. But uh, look at this here, right? Here's Trump on stage. And Shooter was over here. Secret Service were over here. And I get because of slopes of roofs and stuff like that that, you know. But they should have seen a head popping up over the gable. I mean, that is something that you watch. Um, there's another image that's floating around, and I don't know offhand uh, where it is, how easy it is to get it. But there's a water tower not real far away either, and why wasn't there Secret Service up on the water tower? And as the gentleman, the red, red-haired red gentleman in, had uh, queried, why wasn't there Secret Service on all of those roofs? There weren't that many roofs to cover. Why was there not Secret Service on, on all the roofs? So there is certainly a lot of questions to be asked here. But those questions do not include, TJ, whether or not Donald Trump used a razor blade to injure himself. That is ridiculous. That is disgusting. You should be ashamed, dude. You should be ashamed. You take your... Sham wow nonsense way too far. Way too far. Dude, you just need to go. You just need to go. Take your money that you've already conned and go. It's disgusting, man. Shalom.